This presentation outlines future plans for BCT TV1. Susan Mickey called it V1, version one, because she always expected that it would evolve. When creating new versions of taxonomies, like software, there's a balance to be struck by maintaining backward compatibility and improvement. V1 has held up well um, and has been very widely used, but it has become clear that there are ways in which it could be improved. One possible area for improvement is in its coverage. For example, it's not clear whether any of the BCTs adequately captures the notion of simply telling someone to do something by virtue of being an accepted authority. Another area for improvement is in adding more granular BCTs under some of the existing categories. For example, the category pharmacological support doesn't necessarily capture the fact that, for example, in smoking cessation, there are medications that are highly effective, as well as ones that are minimally effective. And it's important to be able to distinguish one from the other. A third potential area for improvement is in the hierarchical structure of the BCTs. The existing upper level provides quite a good guide to help navigate the 93 item list, but not all the BCTs fit well under their headings. And finally, we're working on the definitions to make them clearer and more what we call ontologically coherent. This means expressing the properties of the BCTs in a way that makes the definitions better suited for use in what are called ontologies. Ontologies are formal ways of representing information that provide much of the expressiveness of natural language, uh, but with much greater precision. They can also be used by computers for search and inference. They consist of lists of expressions of the type entity one, relation, entity two, also sometimes called subject, predicate, object. Every entity and relation is precisely defined and given a unique identifier called an IRI, which stands for Internationalized Resource Identifier. And that can, uh, allows it to be located on the World Wide Web. So every entity in ontologies, uh, in principle, uh, can be found using a unique identifier on the web. And that makes it a really powerful tool for um, uh, storing and knowledge and information. A very important relationship um, in ontologies is the subclass or ISA relationship. This is what's used in taxonomies to help us classify things in the world around us. Ontologies are now used extensively in science and industry, and probably the most famous example in science is the gene ontology, which has been extremely successful in unifying diverse areas of biology. In industry, ontologies are used in commonly used search engines, uh, which we will be familiar with um, in Amazon, Google, and so on. Susan Mickey has been leading a team to develop an ontology, the Behavior Change Intervention Ontology, or BCIO, to enable all the key information in behavior change interventions and their evaluations to be captured in a way that's accurate and consistent, making for much more efficient and effective evidence synthesis. The ontology covers information about interventions, including their content and delivery, as well as their targets in terms of outcome behaviors, um, mechanisms of action, how the intervention leads to the effect on the outcome behavior, and factors that influence intervention effects, um, particularly exposure and context, with context consisting of characteristics of the target population and the setting. And all these entities form what's called the intervention scenario. The BCTT V1 taxonomy is currently being used to describe the intervention content in this ontology 
But as you can see, there are many other entities in the intervention scenario that need to be represented in order to fully understand how interventions do or do not work. To summarise, BCTT V1 is the first iteration of the taxonomy. It's being expanded both in terms of coverage and in terms of granularity or specificity. The definitions are being improved and we're working on an improved hierarchy. And it's now part of a larger project to develop an ontology for behaviour change interventions that covers every item of information that's relevant in determining the effectiveness of the intervention for any given population or setting. And, and this in turn is part of a larger human behaviour change project, uh, HBCP, which takes the ontology and uses it to train an artificial intelligence machine learning system to automatically extract information from research reports and use this information to predict behavioural outcomes in novel scenarios. The link to the collection of papers on the Human Behaviour Change Project, including the ontology work, is on this slide. <laughs>